Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow semicircle and this uh, red uh, circle put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the center of this uh, yellow semicircle is O and the center of this uh, red circle is P and the red circle is tangent to this uh, line uh, at this point uh, Q and moreover uh, these uh, circles uh, intersect each other at these two points uh, A and uh, B and furthermore uh, this segment uh, OQ is uh, 3 units whereas the radius uh, of this uh, red circle uh, 4 uh, units and now our task is uh, to calculate the value of this uh, length uh, AB this whole uh, chord length uh, AB Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let me go ahead and connect uh, this uh, center P with this uh, point of tangency Q as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle uh, OQP is going to be 90 degrees since this uh, PQ is the radius of this uh, red circle and uh, this is the tangent line. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, PQ is the radius uh, of this uh, red circle and we know the radius of the red circle is 4. So therefore this PQ length uh, is going to be 4 units. And now we are going to connect uh, these centers O and uh, P as you can see in this uh, next step. And as a result we get uh, this uh, right triangle uh, OQP. And now let's recall the Pythagorean uh, triplets uh, 3, 4 and uh, 5. And now we can see in this uh, right triangle uh, OQP this side length uh, is 3, this uh, side length uh, is 4 then this uh, hypotenuse uh, OP is going to be 5 units. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OP is the radius uh, of this uh, yellow semicircle. And uh, AB is the chord. And they intersect each other at this point uh, C. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if the radius uh, of the circle is perpendicular to the chord then the radius uh, bisects the chord and here once again we can see that this uh, OP is the radius uh, of this uh, yellow semicircle and it is uh, perpendicular to this uh, blue chord uh, AB then this uh, segment uh, AC is going to be equal to this segment uh, BC in other words, uh, this point C is the midpoint. So therefore, we can write uh, AC length uh, equal to BC length. So therefore, this uh, whole chord AB length uh, could be written as uh, 2 times uh, length uh, AC. So therefore, now our task is to find the value of uh, length uh, AC. And here's our next step. Let me label uh, this uh, PC length uh, as uh, lowercase uh, x and this uh, AC length uh, as lowercase uh, y. And we know this uh, whole radius uh, OP length uh, is 5 units. So therefore uh, this segment uh, OC length is going to be 5 uh, minus x. So I can write uh, 5 minus uh, x. And here's our next step. I'm going to connect uh, this center P with this uh, point A. As you can see in this uh, next step and as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, ACP. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, AP is the radius uh, of this uh, red circle and the radius is 4. So therefore this AP length uh, is uh, 4 units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ACP. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. 
and here's our Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equal to c squared and in our case our hypotenuse is 4 and our two other legs are x and y so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so we got uh, x squared plus uh, y squared equal to 4 squared I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number one and here's our next step I'm going to now connect uh, this center O with this point uh, A as you can see in this uh, next step and as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, ACO and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, AO is the radius uh, of this uh, yellow semicircle and we know the radius of this uh, yellow semicircle is uh, 5 units and now let's focus on this uh, the right triangle uh, ACO and we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle as well and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 5 and our other two legs are 5 minus x uh, and y so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so we got uh, 5 minus uh, x uh, whole square plus uh, y square equal to 5 uh, square and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on this binomial on the left hand side so therefore we can write this thing as uh, 25 minus uh, 10x uh, plus uh, x square and then plus y square is going to give us uh, equal to 25 and now we can see this 25 and this 25 is gone and now I'm going to move this uh, negative 10x to the other side let me label this one as our equation number 2 and now we can see we got these uh, two equations equations 1 and 2 and now we are going to compare these uh, two equations we can see our left hand sides uh, are uh, identical both of them are x square plus y square so therefore we can equate uh, these right hand sides uh, as well so therefore I can write uh, 10 times uh, x uh, equals to 16 and now we are going to divide both sides by 10 to isolate x this 10 and 10 is gone so therefore our x value is going to be equal to if we reduce this one that is going to give us uh, 8 uh, divided by 5 so thus our x value turns out to be 8 divided by 5 and here's our next step this time I'm going to substitute this uh, x equal to 8 uh, divided by 5 value in this uh, equation 1 so therefore I'm going to replace this x value by 8 uh, divided by 5 over here so therefore we can write uh, 8 uh, divided by 5 whole uh, square plus uh, y square equals to 16 and now I'm going to move this uh, fraction uh, to the other side and now I am going to tweak this uh, 16 16 could be written as uh, 400 uh, divided by 25 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this 16 by this fraction and now we can see 25 is our uh, least common denominator so therefore if we simplify everything our y square value turns out to be 336 uh, divided by 25 and now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides and here we can see this square and square root is gone so therefore our y value is going to be equal to if we simplify this uh, numerator that is going to give us uh, 4 times the square root of uh, 21 and then the square root of 25 is 5 at the denominator so thus our y value turns out to be 4 times square root of 21 divided by 5 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, AC length uh, is represented by y as you can see over here y equal to length uh, AC so therefore our AC length uh, simply turns out to be 4 times square root of uh, 21 uh, divided by 5 and now we know that our this uh, a b length equals to 2 times the length of a c and our a c length is this one so therefore our a b length is going to be 2 times our a c length is uh, 
4 times the square root of 21 divided by 5. So thus our code A B length turns out to be A times the square root of 21 divided by 5 units. So thus here is our code length A B and this code A B is going to be approximately equal to 7.33 units as well. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.